creating snapshot views in a presentation. So a snap, uh, snapshot view saves the position, it saves the opacity, the camera settings, the visibility of all the components. And snapshot views are either independent or dependent. So uh, to make it dependent, uh, we are going to move it around however we want uh, in our view. Uh, and then we're going to go up and make a new snapshot view. It creates over here. It'll create in our panel over here a new view. I can pick on that, right click, and say rename. I can say something like assembled. All right, something like that. And I can go now and position it any way I want. I can say let's uh, let's zoom out a little bit, right? And I can say uh, let's get it to uh, position it so. And now I'm going to go up and snap a new uh, view. And I could right click and say rename. I'll say, uh, you know, nuts off or something like that, right? And, and I can go around and keep making, uh, and I can make another view. I'll say gap. And let's make a right click and say rename. I'll say gap off. Now, these are all dependent. How do we make an independent um, is, so this is an associative, meaning it's dependent on the model. To make an independent one, I'm going to drag my timeline right into the scratch zone. Now, I can do whatever it is I want to do. So maybe I might want to uh, look at it from the, top, from the top down. I'll say I'll make a new snapshot, and I'll come over here, right click, and say rename. I'll say uh, top uh, side or something like that. And when I hover over this, you can see it says it's an independent snapshot view. So as long as my playhead is in the scratch zone, this is the area of the scratch zone, I can do whatever I want, and it's not tied to my model in any way. I can say, you know, new snapshot view, and you can see when I hover over it, it says independent. And so I can, of course, right click, I can delete, etc. If uh, I want to make any changes to this, I can edit. And it brings me into my edit area. I can finish here. So I can just rename these types of things. And I can say booking from bottom or something like that. All right. And so I end up making these snapshot views in my presentation, and these snapshots can show different visibility, different positions, uh, camera settings, etc. So this is creating snapshot views in a presentation.